Hello, I'm Rudy Harper. Here are your headlines for 7 Action News. The nation's first COVID-19 vaccine is officially on the move by truck and by plane. Thousands of vials have shipped out of Michigan, now en route to their final destinations. The life-saving vials left Pfizer's plant in Portage this morning, taken by special trucks to the airport in Grand Rapids, then shipped to all 50 states. The first members of the American public are expected to be vaccinated tomorrow. A woman has been charged in connection with the death of a Monroe County animal control officer. 47-year-old Michelle Dropulich was arraigned Saturday on charges of second-degree homicide, operating while intoxicated, causing death, and reckless driving. Prosecutors say Dropulich was intoxicated when she ran a red light and hit Officer Darren Young's vehicle in June. Young later died at the hospital from her injuries. Listen up, the last day to apply for a $500 no-strings-attached grant in Wayne County is coming up this week. Wayne County is offering the $500 cash cards to workers impacted by the pandemic. The program helps restaurants, fitness, and entertainment venue workers impacted by the state orders. The response so far has been incredible. In just the first 24 hours, more than 2,400 people applied. The county has 8,000 cash cards. The deadline is to apply is on Tuesday, and we posted a link on our website, WXYZ.com. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Thanks, Rudy. We'll stay mostly cloudy once again for tonight. 31 degrees will be the overnight low. The winds are going to calm down for a change, but another system will arrive tomorrow, and that's going to kick the winds up and keep us cool and cloudy to start the work week.